Hello students, welcome to a new world of mathematics. Understanding quadrilaterals. When you look around, there are different shapes around us. Have you ever noticed the road going through mountains? How does it look? Curved. Exactly, these roads have a curved shape. So, today we will be dealing with curves. Wait, what is this pencil doing here? It's a curve. Try to recall different varieties of curves we studied in the previous classes. The curves are mainly divided into two, a simple curve and a close curve. What's the difference between these two? A simple curve, as the name suggests, is simple. It can be defined as a curve that does not cross itself. Can you find some examples? What's that? Oh, it's a snake. Does it look like a simple curve? Exactly. It is a simple curve. So what does a closed curve mean? A closed curve has no open ends. The outline of a flower and its leaf are examples of closed curve. Some closed curves are made of only line segments. Let's see how it is. Some shapes are given here. What do you observe from these closed curves? They are made of only straight lines, and these are called polygons. Can you find some examples? Rectangle and pentagon in a signboard and star are some examples. We can classify the polygons according to the number of sides. A three-sided polygon is called a triangle. A four-sided polygon is called a quadrilateral. A five-sided polygon is called a pentagon. A six-sided polygon is called a hexagon. And an n-sided polygon is called an n-gun. Consider a polygon and draw a line from one vertex to another that is not on the same line segment. This line is diagonal. That is, a diagonal is a line segment connecting two non-consecutive vertices of a polygon. Now, let's classify the polygons according to the measure of angles and sides. They are concave and convex polygon, regular and irregular polygon. Let's have a comparison between convex polygon and concave polygon. In these figures, the diagonals pass only through the interior part of the given polygon. Here all the angles are less than 180 degrees. So, in a polygon, if all the diagonals lie in the interior part, or all the angles are less than 180 degrees, then it is called a convex polygon. Example Squares on a chessboard Hexagon on a honeycomb Here, some part of a diagonal passes through the exterior part of the given polygon. At least, one of the angles is greater than 180 degrees. If some part of the diagonal lie in the exterior part of the polygon, or at least one of the angles is greater than 180 degrees, then it is called a concave polygon. Example, head and the tail of an arrow. Now, look at regular and irregular polygons. Here, some polygons are given. Let's compare each side and each angle of them. Here, each polygon has equal sides and equal angles.
Such polygons are called regular polygons. Now, let's check the sides and angles of other polygons. In the first figure, angles and sides are different. In the second figure, the angles are the same, but the sides are different. In the third figure, the sides are the same, but the angles are different. So, these polygons are called irregular polygons. Can you find some examples from the surroundings? The face of a Rubik's cube and octagon on a stop sign are examples of regular polygons. A SIM card and a sketch of an irregular land are examples of irregular polygons. Let's have a quick revision. Today we saw what is a curve and the types of curves. Then we went through polygons, their classification depending on the number of sides and measures of angles and sides. Before winding up today's session, I will give you an activity. Identify the following from the figure. First, triangle, quadrilateral, pentagon, hexagon, heptagon, etc. Second, convex, concave, regular and irregular polygons. That's all for now. See you all in the next class.